brothers asked a question that we are referring to scholars and the verse of the Quran says if you differ in any matter refer to Allah and refer to Quran refer to Allah go back to Allah Rudduhu illallahi wa rasul go back to the Quran and the Sunnah so when you go back to the Quran and the Sunnah there's a scholar over here and there's a scholar over there there are two scholars who are differing both are following the Quran and the Sunnah now what what do I do so what do we do Allah has told us that refer to the Quran and the Sunnah for all of us and we need to refer to the Quran and Sunnah and see what is the solution over there <coughs> so my brothers and sisters what do we do is that a layman can do as much as is possible for him now there is something called mistakes everybody makes mistakes and there is something called deviation if your formula is wrong however hard working and sincere you are you are working with the wrong formula so you can't come with correct solutions now there are certain scholars who are considered to be scholars by people but they teach they say that to reach Allah you need someone in between even though Allah has mentioned in the Quran in Surah 50 verse 16 I am closer to you than your Jagdila Veen there are some scholars so called scholars who say there are two types of bidas good bidas and bad bidas even though Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said kullu bid'atin dolala every bid'at something new in religion is dolala deviation there are scholars who say whatever sounds like a hadith is a hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa hadith is hadith but Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said say Bukhari hadith man kataba alayya mutamidan falyatabawa ma qadahu min annar whoever attributes a falsehood towards me he makes for himself a seat in the fire of hell so now what we have to see the formula if there are two scholars as you've said we have to see which of the two formula scholars have the right formula and which of the two has wrong formula now what if both of them have the right formula then what then we have to know that the scholar is a human being he's putting in his efforts and when the great scholar is putting in any efforts and if he's right he will inshallah get two awards and if he's wrong also he'll get one reward as the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in the hakam al hakim fajitahda when the judge judges and he puts in his best efforts according to the Quran and the Sunnah to come to the correct conclusion thumma asaba falahu wajran if he's correct he'll get double reward wa idha hakam fajitahda thumma akhta falahu wajr when he judges and he puts in his efforts yet he's wrong he will still get one ajr so now we know that out of these two scholars inshallah when they are both scholars of the Quran and the Sunnah on the correct methodology so we hope inshallah one will get double rewards and second will get one inshallah but Allah did not say that the follower of the one who is wrong huh? the Prophet did not say that if you come to know that your scholar is wrong you come to know that the scholar whom I have been following and the layman has to refer to scholars فَسَلُوا أَهْلَ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ ask the people of knowledge if you don't know Allah has said so the layman has to refer to scholars now he comes to know that the scholar I was following he is wrong in this issue he is a human being we hope he's got one reward inshallah but if you come to know he's wrong you say no 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 I'm a follower of the scholar huh? I'm not going to leave him so are you going to get one reward you have before you the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah presented by the other scholar but you're not taking his statement because he's not my scholar I am follower of this scholar what, what why are people dividing themselves if this is my scholar this is his scholar this is the scholar of the people of Africa this is the scholar of the people of the Gulf this is the scholar of the people of so-and-so what is this we all are followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa don't divide scholars among themselves so first people divide scholars I'm follower of this scholar then people even go, go down to even dividing hadith this hadith is a people of this school of thought this hadith is for the people of that school of thought so we say no all the hadith are ours because we are followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa we love him and we follow we love all the scholars don't divide the scholars so when people start having divisions among themselves then that's where problems come so we say all the scholars are ours and let us follow whichever of them has proof and with all due love and respect any scholar who makes mistake from the and we hope for him that one reward then with all due respect and love we leave also his statement because that's what the scholars themselves also taught us so it's so simple in, in that sense so here what will happen as a person studies more he'll get more evidences more matters will clear, become clear for him and Allah says in the Quran Surah 29 verse 69 those who do strive in my way I guide them to my paths so those who strive and struggle more they will get to know more issues in this issue this one has more stronger proof in this issue this one has more stronger proof 
But those who don't struggle and they say, I don't understand, then you've not worked for it. How can you get it without working? You struggle in the way of Allah. Then you will get, I guide them to my paths. So what happens, this is very important. So how much a person comes to know, he'll follow. What he doesn't come to know for the time being, if he considers some scholar to be correct, he can follow that scholar for the time being. There's no problem. There's no problem in following scholars. Allah has told to follow scholars. But however, getting stubbornly stuck to a scholar, even after coming to know proof, that is wrong. 